Hello, welcome to Building the Milton Valley Railroad. Sorry about the short delay. I just had to start things up. But we're here now. Actually, one moment, I need to quickly... One moment. Okay, there we go. <laughs> right, so... Right, let's switch over. I don't know why. Actually, that interesting. Hold on. Actually, no, now the mouse pointer is smoother. It was quite stuttery as you saw, but now it's smoother. Anyway, so last time we spent the first hour or so finishing up some things around here. And then we spent the second hour building, putting on, on these baseboards and terraforming this to this extent. So now if I zoom in, you can see this is what it looks like. The render distance has been turned down, so uh, you can't see too far away, but this is what our terraforming looks like. The line will come along here, and then here we'll have a town which is it looks like it's going to be on another hill again <laughs> and it's going to be a small yard some industry down by the river a port area perhaps and then the line will continue back here around to some portals then once that's finished we've only got this bit down here down here by the city to go uh, well that bit and then a few updates around some of the older uh, terraforming that I've done and some things like that. But in terms of new building, that is pretty much it. So let's get right to it. I think I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with finishing up some of the terraforming because over here the edge looks very straight. And I don't like that. So let's see, if I... I don't want this to be too mountainous already because I want to keep the more mountainous areas to the... well, to the more mountainous areas. Which sounds like it should make sense, which is why it hopefully does. <laughs> Just don't think about it too much. Okay, a little bit here, a little bit more here. Hello, Mickey School. Welcome. Are you prone to seizures? Who do you mean? Me? No. Hello. How's it going? It's going very well. Thank you. The stream just started. I noticed that you seem to twitch quite often. Ah, that. <laughs> yes. Okay. I quite like that. Now, over on this side, I think I am going to leave it pretty much as it is. Because I want this to feel like it's already getting a lot flatter and I want it to be kind of this transition between the two areas still because it is between the two and here it is basically just a bit of a plateau that the river cut through over a long long time with forest it'll look a bit better as well and then as we get along here that's when it starts to get a bit more mountainous again okay so uh, actually, yeah, there's just a little bit of terraforming that I want to do here. And then I think we'll plan out a little bit of the layout of the town. We'll decide what industries we want to have in it. As well as... Uh, probably also how, roughly how the layout is supposed to go. Do you see that delay? As I'm moving my mouse pointer, the brush is following so slowly. Do you see that? 
And the thing is, it's not just the mouse, it's like I move my trackball, and then with a delay, the mouse pointer follows, and then with a delay, the brush follows. That is very odd. I hope that's not a sign of bad things to come. Hmm, perhaps. Actually, hold on. Are the terrain details set up still? If I set these two to low, maybe that'll help? Nope. That's really strange. It's like it's delayed. Not really laggy, but just delayed. Hold on, let me quickly check the activity monitor to see if there's anything big going on. Looks like it might be a timey-wimey kind of thing. Yeah, it does. Hmm. I mean, I would call the doctor for help, but I'm afraid I might get one of the... Uh, well, I might, I might get the newest one. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> well, the newest one's writing. Let's put it that way. Because I actually quite like the actress and how she portrays the doctor, as we've already discussed. And apparently Trains is using 117% CPU. Now we've got OBS and that's pretty much it. Nope. Everything else? Let's look at GPU. Nope. Everything should be fine and it's gone down some more. How interesting. Yes, I think we need to repolarize the chameleon circuit again. <laughs> hmm, 170%? Yeah, well, that's what it said. I'm not sure exactly how 100%, 170% of what. It might be... I mean, that might be it. Maybe it... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but have the fire extinguisher at handy. Yeah, if the computer catches fire, I'll just throw it in the river. Um. <laughs> okay, so let's plan out where I want the different industries to go. So, well, actually, let's plan out what industries I want to in the first place. So, I want something that's not cold. No, I want the. I want a, a mill, flour mill, up here, which is where the train will drop off the grain. So let's actually use some pins, push pins I think they're called. A uh, flour mill? <laughs> no, no, not that kind of flour. Okay, so, uh, hold on, I always forget, after all these years. Okay, so, we want a, <laughs> flour, oops, flour mill, there you go. <laughs> And, uh, let's see, where is the sugar cane going to go? Because, hmm, well, down here we've got the pulp mill, which I've still not named. There are a lot of industries that I need to rename on this map and actually set up as well. <laughs> uh, but we've got the pulp mill here, so we've got uh, log is going down here, then this turns it to planks, and then some of the planks are going to get turned into uh, general goods down here in the industrial area. Uh, and then... Uh, 
the general goods are transported everywhere else. So we need a general goods unloader. At least one. Perhaps several. So... Wait, wait, where did I... Where did, oh, there we go. It's just I was so far out. So far zoomed out that it didn't load. So we need... General goods unloaders. Ah, uh, yes. Me, really. really. <laughs> Throw it in the river. You, your computer floats. It's a witch. Well, you haven't weighed it yet. If it weighs the same as a... What was it? A, a duck? Or a goose? Then perhaps. Uh, examine its components thoroughly. See what makes it t um, See what makes it float. Flowermill? You obviously mean a pre breadery Yes, of course. Hello, Series Cow King. Welcome. How are you? Okay, so we've got general goods unloaders up there. Then what's hap going to happen with the sugarcane? So we could have it so that the sugarcane comes from up here, goes down all the way here, then gets sorted and then gets brought up in a like a uh, mixed freight. And I think that would make the most sense because then we can have a little bit more switching work in the yard down here as well. If it's just a few cars that come by get picked up or get dropped off or things like that. Even if perhaps these are a few too many sidings for that. But who knows? That little yard is probably also useful for stuff moving back and forth, like maybe stuff going from up here down to there so it can be switched around and then head back up the main line. Um, pre or what? Or was that a flurry? <laughs> yeah, so you joined the Discord server earlier, yes. Has your computer recently turned anyone into a newt? Well, not that I know of. I mean, none of the newts around my neighborhood uh, told me that they were once human, although there are a lot more of them and a lot less people. Hmm. Who knows? Um, I think the fans might have. <laughs> I see. Okay, so let's let's put that up here. Let's just call it a sugar mill, for want of a better word. Okay, we've got a sugar mill. <laughs> hey, it works. Okay. What else do we need? Well... Stuff. Yes, but m more than that. <laughs> okay, so do we have coal anywhere on this map? Coal, like coal coming in. Because I know we've got a few... Like our... Uh, coaling towers. I don't actually think I've got one here. I think uh, it's sharing the one down there. Hold on. Our coaling towers need uh, to be refilled as well. You can see we've got a, a grill down here for the coal to be dumped to be refilled. So we've got a few of these ones on the map. So it would be nice to have a uh, a coal loading thing, which we could easily do here down by the port. Like coal could come in from barges or something like that. Or maybe even on the main line, who knows. But I think barges would be nicer. A sugar refinery is a refinery which processes raw sugar from cane or beets into white refined sugar. Um, yes. Okay, I'll put this one down here by the river because that's where we'll have that. Okay, so the part of the sugar is then going to head up to the <laughs> the breadery up here. But that's only going to be a relatively small amount. I think most of it is going to go down here to the industrial zone in the town. Uh, 
which means we'll probably have some sort of a I don't know candy factory or something like that over here so actually I might as well place a, a pin for that down here while we're at it once again I require your train expertise I finished my planet coaster park and started the project of Pyrite Junction. I'm currently building the train station and a train sitting at the station. What? I'm currently building the train station and a train sitting at the station. I posted a screenshot in Discord for the train itself. Can you look at it and tell me if you would add more details to the passenger coach? Uh, yes, I'd love to. Let me quickly get Discord up. One moment. It's take it's uh, there we go. It's just taking a moment to load. Ah, there we are. Can you see that? I think I think you can see that. Ah, I see. Hmm. What sort of more detail were you thinking of adding perhaps? I'm not that familiar with old US rolling stock, but it looks quite good, I think. Oh, I've got an idea. How about a little chimney? Because I know these old coaches used to have, a lot of them used to have wood-fired ovens inside for heating, which yes, I know caused them to burn down in crashes quite a lot, but uh, I think that might make it look nice. Um, no. What is it? I, I've just remembered the time we explored that huge abandoned bakery at night. That place really gave me the crepes. Yes. <laughs> uh, Charles, did you see Willis's last message? You mean the thing about the sugar refinery? Yes. Um, yes, we can. Good, we can see it. Everything you would normally see in a passenger coach of any kind. Passengers. <laughs> no, video. Um, flat pots beneath the windows. If it's a static display, maybe not. Yes, so. <laughs> yeah, that could work. With a small smoke uh, particle effect. Perhaps, yes. Uh, classy stuff. Hey, hello, welcome. Hello. Uh, brake wheel, roof vents, grab handles on the sides by the steeps. Uh, steps, sorry. Not steep steps. Uh, good call. I know a little bit of old time coaches. Ooh, yes, then please give your input. Okay. So, yeah, that'll go down there. So, what else do we have? We've got uh, cement from the cement works cement plant, whatever it's called, and most of that is going to be destined for the city. However, it might be nice to have some of it go over here, perhaps to the port to be loaded into barges or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Although, I don't know if that would really work that well, loading something that heavy and transporting it by water. Hmm. Although stone was transported by water a lot of the time. We'll see. Anyway, just somewhere in the somewhere in the town, having a bit of cement. Uh, the idea is that people come to the park through the train. So it's sitting there now, but it's in fun in oh it's in use, it's in fun. I see. No need. I do have a custom made dress for um Sorry, what? I don't know what that comment is referencing. Uh, 
Okay. So we've got the cement coming in here. I uh, should maybe place a red colored lantern on the rear bit, perhaps. I don't know. Okay, so what else? We've got well, we've got gravel that doesn't need to go there. Intermodal stuff. Piggyback unloading. Although Hmm. I don't know if that would be I suppose that could work. Because we've got piggyback traffic being uh, loaded or unloaded from up here. I'm not exactly sure which one it was. But it would it might be nice having a third place because we've got the piggyback stuff up here, and then I want to have, probably have one down here as well in the city. Maybe having a third one up here, or maybe that would get a bit too much. I'll just put it down and we'll see how it goes. Oops. Um, right. uh, kind of anger. I like the way you're thinking, however I wonder if that would make it too western. I'm trying to keep it sort of neutral. Hmm. I mean... If you just look at the locomotive, then I think that already r looks quite Western, if you think about it. Okay, so what else? Uh, I see what you mean, but I think the train al always kind of looks Western, yeah. Okay. I think that's probably going to be it. Truss rods on the bottom of the car back in that time frame. Hmm. That's if they included European designs, but yeah, true. Okay, so I think that's all the... Ah, actually no, they've got another one. We've got this thing. This produces uh, diesel from crude oil. So the crude oil is going to be coming in from... Actually, I was thinking about having the crude oil come in from outside the map, from uh, through the portals, but it might just be coming in on barges or something like that. And then gets transferred onto a train here and then comes down. Also, yeah, we need to think about where we're going to use the diesel. Because at the moment, I don't think that we've got any place that takes in diesel. So I'll just put in... I'll just put in the uh, crude oil here. Uh, sure. Have fun. I'll put the chimneys and truss rods. And try the lanterns, but not sure about that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't listen to it. It's it's just crude by nature. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, now, where where would we actually need diesel? I suppose we could have. This place might have use for it, but that's something we can decide later on. Mm-hmm. Yep. I see. Okay, so let's call that it for now. Ah, actually, one more. Passengers, of course. Passengers? Passengers. I think it's... Hold on. I always forget which way it's around. I think it's with an E. Passengers. There we go. I think that's correct. Anyway, so... Yeah, there we go. Let's start thinking about the layout. <laughs> 
So I want the main line to come in a little bit a ways up. Passing gores? Yes. Uh, take that track. Uh, do I want that to actually be that far in? I think starting it over here would be better. So if we have the passenger, well, not passenger, <laughs> the main line of coming in that way, set the height so that it's flat here, then have it curve around this way, and have that be kind of the area of the yard. It'd be so nice if this track would load in from further away. Uh, how does that look? Oh, that looks good. Um, that's not a good sign if you randomly taste blood. Might be you're bleeding in your nose and it's dripping down the back and then you, then you taste it perhaps. Okay, so that's the height that the main line's at. We'll have a few tracks for the yard, which means we'll need quite a bit of distance for the yard lead, probably around back there or something like that. And then down on this place. Is that height good? Let's let's have a look. Let's look for um, Uh, hold on, what were they called? The dockside stone areas. What is that called? Mm, Harbour side, that's... That might be it. Though I thought there was a different asset for this. Hmm. Maybe, maybe if I set it to negative five meters, like that. Um, all right, second question. Considering no specific era, area, sorry. What would be a good name for a train company that hauls passengers to from Pirate Junction? Hmm. Let's see. I'll have to think about that one. Gold Fool. <laughs> Gold Fool Valley Railroad. <laughs> well, then it would be specific to that valley, would it not? Okay, so let's put in a. I like something Valley Railroad. Ah. Let's see what it looks like with a. Barge, like size-wise, I mean. Is this the size of barge? I mean, that that does look a bit too modern. Hold on. Mm, and does that looks a little bit small? Pirate Valley. Yep. Pirate Valley, perhaps? Pirate Junction, Pirate Valley? If the railroad was specifically built for that area? I mean, that would be the easy choice. 
Deception Creek. <laughs> you mean like Deception Island? Uh, I thought it was Deception Island. Hold on. I thought that was a place. Yeah, there you go. Deception Island. And the South Shetland Islands. Um, <laughs> I would think the railroad was built for anything industrial in the area. There would probably be a bunch of mines, maybe oil rigs. Hmm, interesting. How about... <laughs> I can only think of British names, selling names. <laughs> Auric of relating to or derived from gold. Oh, interesting. I think that sounds like a good name. Auric Valley Railroad. Mm, now that does seem a bit large. Although I suppose. Let's quickly go back here and let's see what it would look like going through what I think is the narrowest bit here. Eh, it looks a little sketchy with all the mud, but if it was perhaps artificially deepened, maybe it could work, but it does look a bit sketchy. I'm just putting these down for reference for size-wise, so I know what sort of a uh, scale we're working with. I think I want a little bit of an inside area. So maybe pulling that in and then having a, a little area like that. <laughs> I mean, I like that idea. Let's see what this would look like here. If we just use this to cover up the edge. <laughs> Our Valley could work, actually. It's a place that doesn't exist. Nice. Mines and Oryx. Let me just make a rough drawing of what this place looks like. Careful though, it might get a bit sketchy. <laughs> yes. Maybe extend this up to about there. Sketchy. I see what you did there. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I thought it was, I had the other tool selected. Okay, now let's see how close I can get the terrain without it poking through. Should work, theoretically. Most of it anyway. 
Although I thought there was a different asset for this. For this kind of keyside harbor dock wall. Hmm. I mean, I suppose this one works. Ah, that doesn't, that doesn't look like it bodes well. It's loading it so very slowly. If anything, that looks like it's, there's going to be trouble. Hmm. Um, SC and K Railway. Oh, sorry, before that, sorry. Or I could just out a bunch of random letters like B and O, but with different letters that doesn't exist for real. <laughs> a, B, R, R. S and K railway. I like that. A B and <laughs> P F R R. <laughs> well, I'm not good with names. I don't know. Hmm. Names can be difficult, both to come up with and to remember. Actually, wait. Is this? Oh, aha! This, this wasn't five meter grid size yet. That's why I was having issue. Shoes. Ah, of course. I hadn't, of, of course, because I was still doing terraforming, that's why I hadn't upgraded it to five meters yet. How does that look roughly? Actually, if I fix that slightly. Well, no, I've not actually fixed it slightly. I'll, I've made it slightly worse. Let's make, let's actually fix it slightly. There we go. Much of experience, I'd say. Eschews? <laughs> what do you want to eschew? Or just name it George. What is that link? Hmm? Is that a reference to Seinfeld or something else? I will name him George. What is that to? Hmm. I have never seen that before, <clears throat> except that it kind of looks like Daffy Duck, <laughs> little one. Um, actually, it looks a lot like Daffy Duck. Hold on, have I seen that? I don't remember. I like how it says 100% non-profit in the description, as if that would change anything about copyright. Good old Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. Ah, so it is Daffy! I think that is Daffy, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, people in the description of things that they've uh, copied without having the right to copy it, claiming that it is for entertainment purposes only, or this is non-profit, 100% non-profit, as if that would give them the right to copy it without permission. I think something like that up to there probably would be good. Oh, we might even have a little lift bridge going across that area if I have the tracks going over it. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that one either. Ah, I think I've seen that episode. Ah, I don't own anything in this video. It's only been re-uploaded by me for entertainment purposes only. XXXX still owns all the rights to the television property at hand. Yes. And by acknowledging that, somehow it changes the fact that you've 
uh, copied it without permission? Question mark. I will name him George and hug him and squeeze him. I shall call him George and he will be my George. <laughs> now that is a Finding Nemo reference. Wait, what? Yes, of course. It's squishy. I should call him squishy until he shall be my squishy or something like that. Uh, yeah, but it, it would. I think it would be nice having a little lift bridge or drawbridge or something like that here, if we've got the tracks going across it. Yes, there we go. That is the quote I meant. And then we can extend this to about there. Mm, that doesn't quite line up. Hold on. that line up ish eh, not perfectly and yeah, this one does need to go a little bit out like that I think I think that looks pretty good Of the sharp turns for those long barges to make. No, I didn't mean for these long barges. I meant more for something of this sort of size, or or, or probably more close to this sort of size uh, to come in. Like I would could have some of these barges over here, like uh, quite a few of them, and the longer ones be moored out here. That's what I was thinking. But if you think. Building it a different way would make it better. Please suggest it. I've not really built many uh, harbors before that look good. <laughs> well, and by that I mean I have built uh, dock sides before in the past in trains, but that was mostly inspired by the docks from Thomas the Tank Engine and. That doesn't necessarily mean that what I was trying to build was the most prototypical thing ever. Well, if the bridge is drawn, it might also be a bit sketchy. Hmm. Perhaps that could be that could be the case. You might be onto something there. Well, be back. Sure. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. But yeah, nice idea. Drawbridge had to repair and refuel one today to progress further in the Madura map. Ah, yes. I remember you showed me. <laughs> that map seems to me like it's more of a, a puzzle. Ooh, also, while I've got you here, tomorrow, uh, in Kango's slot, because Kango's streaming on Thursdays now, um, he and I and Emi Chu are going to be playing some Multiplayer Madrona together. It's going to be her first time playing any of those games. She only recently bought the game in a sale and she's not played it before. We only did a little, a little, a tiny little test game before to make sure that it actually works. And I haven't played a lot of it either. So that'll be fun. Mm, nice. Madrona is a nice game. What is Madrona? Madrona is Basically, your actually, I'll let Kango. I'll let Kango explain. Kango has played a lot more than I have. Oh, Mudd Runner! <laughs> unless that was, <laughs> unless you know about the game, and that was just you just wrote that because of the pun, because of the of Harry of Harkov Fenton Mud. Sorry. Yeah, there is a Steam link. Basically, it's a game about uh, 
driving trucks and other off-road vehicles through lots of off-road terrain. Now I just think it's moving faster than brain. <laughs> yeah, that happens to me too. Yeah, basically, you, you, you're in a wilderness, a forest somewhere. There are roads, but most of the roads are dirt tracks. And it looks like the last couple of days or weeks where it was raining, everything's very muddy, and you've got to basically combat your way through mud in a hopefully off-road vehicle to deliver logs and to um, repair garages or deliver fuel to other vehicles and things like that. You'll see what it's about tomorrow where if you watch uh, Kango in my streams. Driving Soviet vehicles through a jack at uh, right middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I heard it was a difficult game. I got it for free at some point on Epic. Looks like fun, but I haven't tried it yet. I see. It can be a bit difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Spin Ties was the original game made by one individual, Pavel Zag Zagreb Bel Belny? Z Zag <clears throat> Zagreb Belny. I have no idea how that's pronounced, sorry. In the period of seven years, the game was kickstarted and got released in 2014. I played Manorna, it was pretty easy when I played. Depends. It depends. Okay, so... I quite like that. Let's see... Oh no, look, the mouse pointer. Look at how it's following the... That... Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at a potential lift bridge we could put in here, because I think that would be quite a pivotal piece of scenery here. Mudrunner is the semi-sequel to it, published by a different company with a large handful of improvements, changes, and fixes. Yes. I think that this is probably a bit too large scale, this bridge. Also, it's a suspension bridge, not a lift bridge. Forklift, no, no, no. Helicopter lift table. <laughs> Iron lifting gear with pit, no. Although, actually, we might use that for unloading stuff later. I'll place one of those there so we don't forget. Oh, I play so Snow Runner. It's so fun. <laughs> Yeah, I've I have got SnowRunner on Epic. I've never installed it because well, I've yeah, because the thing is, for some reason with the Epic Game Store, whenever I install something or whenever there's an update, it eats up so much space in what I can only assume are temporary files that it doesn't delete. I'm talking like so many gigabytes of space that has just vanished. So, I don't really use the Epic launcher anymore. Not that I used it much before, but that is the reason why I've not really used that. Ah, this is interesting. Although that is quite clearly a road bridge. Ah, now this might be exactly what I was looking for. Although one that is a little wider might be good. Oh, and look at that. It looks like it, the height fits perfectly already. Ish. Fits perfectly. Ish. Let's see what, what else we've got. One more train question about stations. What kind of layout would you expect if you have a cargo loading area and a passenger area in the same station? Well, I would say have the passenger platform on the main line because passenger trains, at least from my experience, don't usually stop that long. Freight cars stand around stationary much longer. So then I'd have a secondary line paralleling it 
with probably one or two crossovers between them. And that has some uh, warehouses or something specific for unloading at that point. And maybe one or two sidings to store cars in. Or to, yeah, and that would be my recommendation. Um, it depends really on what kind of cargo you're talking about. If it's just box cars, then yeah, having like a, a platform with a warehouse on a second track would be my suggestion. But yeah, in the first two games, the, the goal is quite simple. You're in the Russian wilderness somewhere in a highly detailed forest, and your goal is to transport eight points worth of logs from log station to lumber mill. There's dynamic terrain deformation, water physics, and amazing sound design. Madrona also has two USA themed DLCs. Great fun, these games. <laughs> okay, we've got a lift bridge. That one also looks good. But I think I prefer to have the single track one. Got more forklifts. Now that looks nice, but not what I'm looking for. Back at that time, just a separate siding with a loading dock alongside it. A loading dock uh, alongside. There you go. Uh, I've got another nice bridge. Bit too long. Same. Okay, let's look for drawbridges. Now we've got this one, which I think that's the one we've used over there. Either this one or, or a very similar one. We've got that one and that one. Columbia River drawbridge? Hmm, <laughs> nope. We've got these ones. Okay, and that's not anything. There we go, we've got that one as well. I'll, I think I've placed some more bridges on my mods test map, if I've still got that. Let's have a quick look. Come on. There we go. Um, hello, welcome back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That one. It used to be a mine. It ran dry. It was turned into a theme park. So cargo used to be iron ore only. Now it would be used to unload supplies for the various shops. Okay. Eh? Well, I mean, if it's supplies, then it's probably box cars. So yeah, platform. With uh, I w I would put in a little warehouse, probably a wooden warehouse or something like that. So basically just make the dock longer with a crane and a warehouse maybe. Perhaps a side track that leads to a mine. Oh, what did your cat do? Probably no crane. Trains mostly unload, loaded by hand then. Mm. Ah, there we go, finally loaded. Yeah, so this is one of my mods test maps where I uh, kind of download, when I download different assets, I kind of try them out to see what they look like. You can see I've got all sorts of different things laying around here. But I remember that I used to... All right, this is when I, when I made the Pilsberg barn. I was looking at what sort of stuff to use for it. Anyway, um, I thought I had some... Lift bridges. I know I had these bridges. What wasn't there something else as well? No, it wouldn't have been back here. Um, now nah, this is something else. Hold on. This is 
You could have a spur branch going off to a mine. Hmm. I'll read your one in a, in a moment. You can't go. Maybe I don't have the bridges on here that I thought I did. Hmm. I guess I'll have a look on the DLS. This has been very useful. Lots of good notes. I'm glad. She jumped on my bed and she scared me and my friend. Yeah? If you're so engrossed by watching a live stream, then that can happen. That is the risk that you run. <laughs> uh, I'm going down to the Columbia River. West went down last time. I just happened to miss her. Then the paddleboat approached and I saw her waving to me and her very last goodbye. Oh, I went down to the old Columbia River watching her disappear behind that bend. I see. <laughs> no, the cat wants to watch the stream. That's what's going on. Sea cat. Probably not a caterpillar cat. Okay, now that it's loading in, I can open up the DLS. Let's have a look for... Actually, let's just look for lift. And then as a separate name... Oops. Name. Bridge. Let's see what other assets we have. That one looks nice, although a bit too big. Maybe I'll I'll download it and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Ah yes, almost forgot my last question: How many passenger cars in the train? Considering this particular train brings in passengers in out multiple times a day. I guess it would depend on how long the distance is to where the train picks up passengers from. If it's a long way out, then. Having a longer train might be useful if you've still only got one. But if it's only a short distance, then having a shorter train would be more useful because then it doesn't take as long to get there, assuming the problem would be locomotive power. Well, maybe some of these would look good. Let's try one of those ones. Vertical lift bridge, let's have a look at this one. Ah, these ones look nice as well. I'm going to download these two just because I might need them at some point in the future. Ooh, and that one looks interesting. And then I might forget about them if I don't download them now. It wasn't a large file anyway. Let's have a look at this one as well, perhaps. Okay, uh, let's say about one hour or maybe less. 
Well, in that case, I think maybe three or four cars should be good. Turn bridge. Ah, that's good hint. Good keyword, I should say. Um, unfortunately, there really isn't much. There are turntables. Lots of other turn stuff, but no turn bridge. Maybe one word? Nope. I don't know. Um, damn, them seagulls be brawling. Ah, there are quite a lot of seagulls around here, yes. It's probably because I'm quite close to the coast. Hmm. Um, <laughs> I would say two to six behind a four four zero. Oh. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Ah, oh, nice. I can hear some too where I am. <laughs> two to six. Mm -hmm. I know this one must be called different. Uh, slide, swing bridge. Ah, swing bridge. Uh, let's have a look at some of these. And if I find a really good one, then I can always expand the area a bit. Okay, bye-bye. Have fun playing Xbox, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, there are quite a few of these. Let's have a look at this one as well. Ooh, that one looks interesting as well. Okay, let's have a look at these. Let's I'll, first I'll look through all the stuff I've downloaded today. Uh, hold on. Oh, wait, did it? Oh no, there we go. <laughs> I thought because I'd updated a route maybe, but we'll see. Hmm, this one looks interesting. However, I see a flaw in this swing bridge. Maybe this is supposed to be invisible track? Hold on. Yeah, I think this is supposed to connect to invisible track. Eh, don't quite like that one. Not for this. Ah, this is one of the big ones that I downloaded for later on. Ah, this one looks interesting. Although I think that's a bit too large for what I'm looking for. Oh, maybe. Hold on, where is the... Can I lift this up? Hmm. Yes, good. Because I think the rail connects onto that point. Yes. Yes, it does, and it even puts in the correct track. That is nice. Uh, that is also the right gauge, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, probably. Hmm. We'll see. Got this lift bridge. Ah, uh, this one might actually be the one that I go for. Just because it, well, it's not too, too much. Although this looks like just a shorter version of that one and that one fits a bit better. Although that one's a bit shorter, so maybe this one being a bit longer might fit better as well. And then if I connect on another uh, bit of invisible track, if I can find it. Track invisible. I'll have to widen this if I use that bridge, of course. Ah, this one's a turntable. That's not... Oh, is that... That one looks like it's faulty. Hold on. Ah, it's third party and faulty. Let's just delete that one. Got some swing bridges here. Which are too large. That one... Mm. I think that's just a bit too narrow. I want a little bit more space for them to get through. That one as well. Although, what's the different version of the vertical lift bridge? Let's have a quick look. Oh, <laughs> There we go. That's one. Is there one with a larger span? Looks like it. Let's try this one. Um, coordinates. One moment, is that? Let's see. Can I just put those into Google Maps and will it go there? Apparently it will. Ah, interesting. Hold on, I think I remember a rail fan image that I saw online being taken from here. Is that an old fun abandoned fun fair? That looks like an old abandoned fun fair on the dock by on by the river there. That does look a bit creepy, <laughs> unsettling. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, lots of cranes, lots of... It looks like berths for ships. Lots of piers going out to where the water is deep enough. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, are there are those harbor coordinates? Uh, looks like most barge traffic just stays on the river. Yeah, it does look like that. But I think having a little bit of an area for barges to come in here would just make for more fun operations here. Like just imagine having the main line up there, where just a few industrial buildings around. You can as you're doing switching around here. You've got tracks that go across like that. We might be able to have like a loop line coming, connecting back, and then a few spurs coming off to a few industries. And as you're coming around, you're going through here. Maybe you have a little bit of street running again, perhaps. Who knows? And you, then you can see maybe even a little bit of multiplayer traffic here with 
you can see maybe another player switching some stuff out there across the water in the middle or some things like that. And even though it may not be that realistic and barge traffic would in reality stay more on the river, I think being able to do that and seeing long passenger, uh, well, long, well, passenger and freight trains going across there would just be more fun in this case. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Ah, I guess, yeah, I see what these are. Oh, that one looked great. Mississippi River and St. Louis and New Orleans. Hmm. Lots of heavy river tra barge traffic. I like the great tall one best so far. Hmm. Not sure what it was called. The one with the many metal bars. Well, that one did look nice, but it was a bit narrow. But 20 looks longer. Okay, I'll have a look. Ooh, ooh, look at the book! Yes, I did think of that as well. Once I get to some more actual layout stuff, I will look at it. I will consult it. It's actually right there on the table behind me. Ah, yes, number 20. The fair got abandoned, but the clowns never left. Dun dun dun. Mm. This pan for number twenty is the same. It just has longer, longer support truss. Mm. I don't know. Let's see what this one would look like here. Uh, no, I think I like this one best. It's got a long, sp well, long enough span. Yeah, there is some harbourish traffic in there. I did see that. Can I lift this? No. Uh, yeah, just the. Well, I suppose that might work. The height seems to fit, uh, anyway. Maybe if I expand this a tiny bit. Just around there, perhaps. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow's multiplayer stream. <laughs> and also to Monday's, wink wink. I think that looks nice. I'm quite happy with that bridge. Yes, can I wait? <laughs> Uh, maybe move it more towards the center so that barges coming around the corner don't. Don't hit the pi the pilings. Pilings? Pilings? I tried to say that word. You mean... Oh, you mean the bridge, so that the bridge is more like that. Yeah, perhaps. But what I thought might be nice, having it over on closer to this side, so that as you're switching over here, you could have warehouses on that side, and you'd have a view of the river, and maybe even some barges going on invisible tracks, who knows. And then as you're switching over, you can then look between the buildings and see what's going on over that side. Although I suppose I could achieve the same thing if I have it closer to the center, maybe put some smaller buildings in here, or 
have it closer to the center and uh, hold on and maybe just push this whole thing back a little bit so that it's a bit longer a bit wider of a thing in between Okay, so that's good. I like that. Now, can I just connect my normal tracks to this? Or do I have to do the trick with the invisible track? The answer is I have to do the trick with the invisible track. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Oops. So the way this works is you can connect a bit of invisible track to one side, then connect your other track to that side, then delete the invisible track and then connect it to the other side. Because it'll only, so industries that have a an interchangeable track type in it, they will only update the track if there is no other connection to that piece of track. But doing it this way around, so one at a time, you can have this be invisible track while still having your own track connected to both sides. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how this will look yet or if I will use this particular track. I might do something with a bit of street running along here actually. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, right, and this little lifting crane thing, uh, I'll just, I'll put it out of the way up here where the tracks are so that I don't, do not forget it. Okay, let's put down some multiple industries to kind of plan out where the different industries will go. Well, let me just reload, one second. Ah, oh, that's a bit grayish there. Hold on, let me just turn these on. Okay, so let's use the liquids one for liquids. So this is where the crude oil will come in. Actually, maybe we should have crude oil come in and also have diesel going out so that we've got tankers going in both directions. That might be fun. So actually, let's have a look. There you go. <laughs> One moment. I'm not sure if it's bright enough here. What, hold on one second. Uh, let me just reach down there. And there we go. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Where was this? Oh, it's right in the beginning. I'm assuming this is what you meant. On page 11. That's, I'm assuming, what you meant. If you can see that. Uh, you can kind of see that. I'll... I'll Hold it a bit like that so it doesn't reflect too much. Let's see. Okay, it seems quite basic. Some, some of it at least. Let's have a look. There we go. Went. <laughs> okay. So. We're going to need storage tanks, pipes, pumping stations for the fuel, well, diesel and uh, crude oil. So I think having that be further over here would make sense. If we are going to have this be a kind of a loop layout connecting back up here, then we'll have to have a line coming up there and then connecting up here somewhere would be my guess. 
<laughs> or we could have a switchback for some reason. Although, actually, looking at it, it might be nice to have the line coming up this way and then connecting up there. Because then it would mean that for switching things, we could actually utilize this landscape back here a bit more. Even though trains won't usually go back there because the, the scenery ends. And it'll end in portals, basically. I think that would make sense. So, 1621. Uh, I think those were the ones I was looking at. Uh, one six, yes, and then chapter two, one. Ah, yes, that one. Where I was talking about the different, like how there were different companies that, different railroads that only owned bits in sort of industrial areas and things like that. Just to give you a little reference of what I'm looking at. Uh, this is what I'm currently looking at, if you can see that. Should be able to see that without too much glare like this. That's an interesting thought. Having a switchback on the MVR, sync one. Eh, <laughs> I don't think it's necessary here. I see. Yeah. It's even got a little, what looks like either gas or some sort of oil storage area back there in the mud bay. Okay, so I think here I'm going to have it over in this corner because I, th I want to have it be quite, um, I think this is going to be quite large, at least for this space. So having one there and then one on the other side, which is the same sort of layout as with the refinery, although maybe if we could rotate these a bit. Mm, do I want to? Yeah, maybe rotating them a little bit is, qu is quite good. Sort of like that. Let's make sure this is actually flat. Because it could easily not be. Yeah, sort of like that. Let's just flatten this like this. And then we'll have sort of tanks in the middle and we'll have the actually we could have the area for the ship stop over here and then have pipes going over the top let me go back to the refinery and get some of the pipes from here uh, some of these ones perhaps or is that, no, that's part of the actual building, I think. Yeah. And that? Is that the right one? Hold on, one moment. Ah, yes. Let's, let's see how that one would fit. Not up there, hold on, just down here. Okay. Let's imagine what it would let's imagine what it would be like to have that coming over from here. We'll need some sort of crane. I know there are cranes with kind of hoses or things like that. Like dockside cranes. That would fit quite nicely here. Hold on. Why can't I place this? That's odd. But that's a bucket wheel excavator part, so it doesn't really apply here. It doesn't really fit here. <laughs> Leap her? Hmm. Hmm. To the rescue? Question mark? We'll see. Why can I not? Hold on, am I? Nope, I am on the correct layer. Now that one I can place. Just can't seem to place some of these other ones. Strange. Hmm. 
Nope, do not need any derricks here quite yet. We've got the diesel refueling crane, but that's more for refueling. We've got these dockside cranes, and these ones would be great for some of the other loading, unloading areas, like over here perhaps. And yeah, this one does move along the rails, so... Quite nice. It is quite necessary to have this one actually be... have the rails visible. Just some something like that. There's a static version as well. I'll look for docks as well later. <clears throat> What does that one look like? Not quite. Fuel crane? Hmm. Nah, just, th these ones are just too small. They're for refueling individual vehicles, not... other more significant duties. Big Mickey? <laughs> I see. I get it. Collapsed. I mean, perhaps somewhere. I know there are some of these cranes. Maybe I don't have them installed on TS19 yet. Could always be. Come on. No, these ones are just small hand-operated ones. Or I can have a look at docks, or, or dock, or something like that. That one looks interesting. But it doesn't... Ooh, that one doesn't look quite nice. Hold on. Yeah, it looks like it's got sort of a claw, like maybe for scrap, or is that for containers, or something? I don't know. I'll put it over there for consideration. Uh, one moment, is that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Looks like it is four containers. Yeah, it does look a bit like it. Well, I suppose it might also be like a, a claw for scrap or something like that. Or, or I guess it could double for that, perhaps. Nope. And we're through. Okay, let's have a look at what I've got for dock. Got loading... Now, these ones are for warehouses. Hold on. Ah, dockside bulk something. This is what I meant. You can see that it, it's got a, a pipe or something there already dangling down. An unconventional description of a crane. Oversized claw machine. <laughs> well, I, I suppose that that makes sense. Only a place to some, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, one moment. Just looking for something.
Okay. <clears throat> Right, so I think this one could look quite nice. Maybe if we have a couple of warehouses or something along here, and then have maybe two of these cranes. I guess it's, well, it is called granular. So it's meant for grain, but or something like grain. So maybe also pellets, but it looks like something that could feasibly also un be used to unload crude oil or something like that. Do I have an oil barge or, or something like that? Uh, tanker, that's the word. Quickly want to see if I've got something appropriate for this. Oh, did I just skip through some? I think I just skipped, skipped through some, some. One moment. Oh, I've got this one. <laughs> but that looks a bit too modern, I think. This looks like they are for loading grain into a onto a barge. Yes, well they are they are called granular, but I don't know if there's a more appropriate asset for well for for oils, because this at least looks like it's got some sort of a hose or something like that for things to be pumped through. I mean I can always have a look on the DLS to see if I've got something more appropriate there. But I don't know that I will find anything better. <laughs> no smoking, yes. I mean, realistically, this is a very large... It's just too large for the server. This is an ocean-going vessel. Red third hose is coated in black from the inside. Is this no smoking? <laughs> mm, doesn't look like like I've got anything uh, downloaded at the moment for that. However, uh, that doesn't mean that I won't be able to find anything. Uh, fitting later. So let's just quickly see how this might work. So if this is going along there, let's see a train be coming in forwards like that, probably, or coming from the other side. I suppose if we put in a loop then it really doesn't matter which side the the points face because the train can just take the other su side of the loop to go around if indeed we are going to do a loop yes perfect <laughs> and i think that's a bit too small hold on maybe something One moment. Although that also still looks quite tight. Hmm. I don't know that we've got enough space for a loop here, thinking about it. If, if we think about how much space we needed for the loop when we put in the that one uh, farm with silos. Although that was supposed to service so mainline engines. If this one uses, if this one is meant only for switching, then I might be able to use tight enough um, radii for this to work. Or I suppose I could put in like a retaining wall up here where the tracks are. 
and then have the line going all the way down there at the base of the retaining wall. I think that might look quite nice actually. Um, uh, are there also swing bridges that also act as turntables? I, I'm not sure I would see the point in having those because if it swings, then, although I suppose that is what a swing bridge is, isn't it? Oh, you mean that acts? Oh, you mean that you can click on it and it'll turn it? Uh, I don't think so. Not that I could find anyway. Uh, right, I'm back. Hello. Kango, what trucks are we gonna drive tomorrow? We'll see. I've not decided yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, if it's the large ones, like the MZKT, I'll have enough legroom. <laughs> we'll start with the bog first map in the list. We'll start off with the vanilla game apart from the Ad Adega graphics mod. Yep. Trust me, I've checked. Eliza has enough legroom. I, I trust you. When you say that you've checked that, then I trust you that you've checked that. <laughs> Yeah, I meant swing bridges that are able to spin 180 degrees. I don't know. Probably not, though, I would suspect. Because if you've got a swing bridge that rotates like that, then if it goes that way and then goes back that way, then all you need to do is have some sort of a, a, a buffer, essentially, some sort of mechanical stop, so that the bridge, when it swings, collides with that barrier, and then you can lock it into place. And that it'll, it'll already be aligned properly but if you design it to swing 180 degrees around for some reason, then you'd have to rotate it manually exactly like that, or you'd have to have some sort of me mechanism to move those barriers in and out, depending on how they can rotate. But I don't think that that would be necessary, really. Plus, I would imagine that it m might make it... Actually, if it's with gears, then maybe not. Anyway, I don't know. I don't think so, though. Um, Andoplatte Schweb. That's an interesting German word. Well, two words. I'm assuming that might be the name of an asset. Just look for Andoplatte. Ah. Uh, zweifach, vierfach Boden. Bogen. Let's have a look at these ones. They're old assets, but they might be good. Wait, no. Alright. Good to know. Uh, this you mean? Sure, no, you mean the whole... You mean the white one from the valley? Hmm. Let's have a look at these. Wait, is that? Is that for the Schwebebahn? It looks like that's for the Schwebebahn. Not sure how that would be useful here. Um, unless you meant something different, I don't know. Uh, sweet, Svet will drive because she can understand the Russian on the interior plates. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, I looked for Andok Plata and that was the only thing that it could find. But I'll search for the asset as well. 
Fuck, hvad kan I være det? Oh, this one you mean? DS dock liquid short ship loading. Ah. That looks more promising. <laughs> uh, I couldn't really tell just looking at the picture. <laughs> Luckily, I've got a first class ticket currently. Oh, I see. I mean, yeah, that looks great. <laughs> but it is much too big for this area. Although I can look at what the cranes look like here. Yeah, it looks like just sort of grappling well, hose things. Yeah, the author Dave Snow has several. Hmm. Let's have a quick look. Oops. Oh wait, have I downloaded a different one then? Oh, look, the, he has a he has the actual crane as one of the One of the, the, the standalone assets. Ah. He has just the crane bar by itself. Yes, that's what I've just seen. <laughs> ah. Lovely. Although, I will keep one of these cranes over here for the potential later use. Also a grain loader. Yeah, that will be very nice for future. For the future. Not sure what that little box is. I think I'll move it into the ground slightly. Yeah, it's like that. Hmm, nice part. Where can I land? <laughs> uh, if you don't mind that little barge there, your yacht might be able to fit in here. What rotation is this? 44.3, okay. Although that might be a little off now that I'm looking at it. Let's see. If I move this along to about there, just so that it's going... Oh, right, it doesn't work like that because it's... Mm, it's clipping. But something... I think maybe 42 degrees Kelvin would look good. Okay, well, what I originally wanted to decide here is if this is the area that I, the area that I want the, the diesel stuff to be. And I think that I do. Measure it, I need to make sure. <laughs> um, well, okay, it'll only take a second, hold on. 
it is uh, it is 879 sorry 897 feet by about 313 feet. Uh, ooh, the grain loader. Let me just quickly download that as well. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Doesn't look like a grain loader to me. <laughs> Oops, a moment. Uh, oh, did I? Oh, no, there we go. Ah, that looks much more like the thing. <laughs> yes. And actually, I suppose it would make sense if we're bringing grain up here already, that some of it might be loaded onto barges to be shipped elsewhere. Although, I am a bit weary of... Uh, hold on. Of making this too big of an area. Hold on, where is that asset? Bridge, blah blah blah, liquid. Um, where is that asset? Hold on. I gave you both of them. I gave you both of the numbers. I think it was three, oh uh, yeah, 313 I think it was, or something like that. Uh, KUID. Asset KUID. That's odd. Didn't I just download that? Oops. Why is it an unknown asset now? Did I type it wrong? I think I might have, oh right, I typed it wrong. I'm missing a zero. And that's the old one, hold on, that's the, that's the one. No, I didn't. Hold on. Installation date, that's today. Uh, today, yes. Why is it only showing the liquid loader? Oh, it's a, it's a locomotive. Oh, hold on. I might be able to find a static version of it. And that's why I couldn't find it. Dock shore to ship. I'll just search for that. Come on. Oop, that's not what I meant. Hold on. Ship grain loader. Hello, Can Gaming. Welcome. How are you? It's been a while. Nope, that is the only version of it, apparently. So yeah, it's a locomotive. Uh, can't place it here. Plus, I think it's a bit too large anyway. But good call.
Okay, let's... I want to place down some of those tanks, just so I can see more what it will look like once it's finished. I'll copy the ones from down here. Uh, I'm doing well. It has been a while. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the whole refinery. Let's copy this one. I've been very busy making sounds for engines. Oh, in what context? And building the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. Um, steam engine sounds. Ah, I'm assuming you mean in trains? Question mark. Um, Lena, yes, trains. Ah, no, like as a trains route. Yeah, nice. Would you like to? I, I'm. Are you on Discord or not? Because if you are, then I would love to see some pictures. Thank you. If you want, I can have a look at them on stream. Okay, something like that. And we'll probably have it branch off there. Come on, load in. Oh, that's not the right track. Hold on, that's the track for the Haddoncourt Tramway. Something like that. And then... Which means that the train would come... Actually, I no, I like the... I like the idea, although I suppose that would make it easier. I was going to say I like the idea better of the train coming this way across the bridge, not the other way for that stuff back there. But I suppose on different industries it could be different. Plus for this one it might make more sense if the... Actually I suppose it could have it coming in like that. Just might get into a bit of a tighter curve is all. Mm. Yeah, that that would be too tight again. Which means that this one would then I'll either, I would either have to move it. Which honestly might not be that bad of an idea anyway. Moving it maybe over to although I do like it being back there. We can maybe even have a road or something with a warehouse between I don't know. Maybe move that there. And then this line I actually did want to have going quite close along the docks there something like that and then this could branch off from somewhere along here this is just temporary work by the way there's all st still subject to change, of course. Um, right. I actually already built it, but I tore down all the trees and grass and replacing it all with better, nicer looking assets. Ah, yeah, that can be a bit frustrating, trust me. <laughs> um, but in the end, it is pretty much always worth it. Uh, I see. Yeah, I feel it's pretty much always difficult to actually bring yourself to rebuild things. But when you do get yourself to do it, it more often than not ends up looking better than before. True. Okay, something like that. So let's get one of these pins away, the, the crude oil thing. Then we've got coal loading and cement. Oh, we've actually gone past 10 o'clock, about two minutes ago-ish. Uh, I'll... Mm. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll leave things as they are for now, and in between now and next time, I will 
look at some reference material and look at some real life harbors and and or maybe model railroad layouts and things like that to see how they're laid out because that will then hopefully stop me from having to rebuild areas of this too much if I look at reference material now well between now and then I think that looks quite nice did that save? I'm not sure if that saved don't think it did there we go Uh, 10 minutes? Nah. I think it's better if I if I do it the other way. I originally, I originally didn't even intend doing this much work on this area today. I thought we'd plan out the way that the main line is supposed to go and then start working on the scenery up to about this bit-ish and then we'll put the town in. But it looks like we've jumped straight to the town. <laughs> anyway. Uh, right, just one more thing. I, I still don't smoke cigars. If you get the reference. Uh, right, so bye bye, see you tomorrow. Yes, see you tomorrow for multiplayer Madrana with Kango Fango and Emichu, which is over on Kango's slot. So if you want to watch the stream, Maybe watch his side of it. <laughs> or you can watch both, whatever. Uh, what time tomorrow? I th Wasn't it 8? Same time as today? Yeah, from 8 till 10. For us, it's 5 hours difference for Eastern Eastern time in the US. Or I may choose. If she plans on streaming that as well, which she might. She probably will actually be thinking about it now. But we'll see. Okay, so with that, thank you all very much for watching. It's exciting to be working on this new area, and like I said, I'll look at some reference material between now and next time we work on it. And see you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye-bye. <laughs>